All right, Leo, so welcome to your June, June already, 2023 <laughs> uh, Psychic Tower reading. So um, thanks for coming here to my channel, WTP, to watch. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and share. And um, for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, you can contact me via email at uh, wtp.326 at gmail.com. There is information in the description box below regarding um, personal readings, length of time, price, etc. in the description box below. Um, also, there is going to be a link to an extended reading in the description box below. Um, so just scroll down and click on the link. It will take you to Vimeo where you can rent that for $4.99, okay? In the extended reads, I get into more details about what's going on with you for the month. You know, if there are any cautions on the month, what's good for you in the month, and how the month finishes up. Um, if there are specific people that you're dealing with, we'll talk about that. And I'll also channel a message for you from a spirit guide, um, at the end of the video. So if you're interested, again, link is in the extended below. So my readings are going to be a little bit different going forward. I'm going using less cards and more psychic. Um, whoa, um, sorry. I just got a message that kind of surprised me. Sorry for that interruption. Um, so less cards and the extended won't have any more cards at all. So there are only going to be two cards in the reading and the rest will be me just um, listening to or, or talking about what I see for you. Okay. All right. So let me know what you think. Comments are welcome. Uh, Leo, the energy for the month of June for you is... Now that card underneath that, Violent Flame, um, which means there's some goings on that are not fun. And, um, you know, things are probably a little bit stormy, okay? But we'll see what comes up. But the Faith card is about reconstituting your dedication to believing that things can happen for you, right? Um, so in the face of a violent flame, what would that be, I wonder? Some nastiness. Uh, I think it has to do with another person. Maybe something that was said to you, but caused an upheaval in the energy. Um, the next card I draw will have to do, will be what's driving that energy. So what's driving the faith card and the violent flame card, please? Uh, a happy relationship. Ten of Cups. Happy family, happy relationship, emotional fulfillment. Uh, two more cards popped out underneath that, so I'm just going to show them to you because they're there. Ten of Swords, there's your Violent Flame. Ouch. And then the Six of Pentacles, which is putting effort into... There was like a betrayal, um, and but, you know, this is putting effort into emotional fulfillment, maybe repairing the relationship or the family um, so that you can get back to what you want to be with them. If it's not the same relationship, it's a different relationship. Like something new may come along, something better, like even though, so when I see violet flame, I, I, I'm not, I'm, I, for some of you, something violent happened. Okay. I'm just going to say that, um, doesn't mean everybody, but for some of you, something violent happened and now you need to kind of reconstitute your faith in maybe in relationships. Maybe it's about, um, 
knowing that not everyone is going to be as bad as, as the situation that you were in. Okay. So in June, you're going to be, if you're not rebuilding, you're building on something new. It's, it's the faith part that's reconstituted. It may not be the same relationship for some of you, it might be, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's about going onward and upward and figuring out whether or not you're capable of, of either loving someone else or loving that person with the same type of emotions that you had before. Is it gonna work out, you know? Is it gonna still feel good? Are we gonna have the same rapport? Um, is this what I need? You know, all of those questions that follow along with it. I do feel like you're reticent. Um, you know, the faith card has, has questions in it. And so you are probably assessing whether or not you can be um, brave. You know, can you be, can you be the same type of person that you were in relationships in the past? Can you still be that person in relationships going forward? Um, Where's the benefit in this? You know, is this going to, uh, is this going to work for me? There's questions involved. You know, do you put effort into what is coming towards you? Sun just popped out. Uh, yeah. The Violent Flame card seems to be something related to somebody got hurt, okay? And I also feel like there's more to the Violent, Violet, I keep saying Violent, sorry. Violet Flame than meets the eye. Like there's some sort of um, cover up happening there. And when I say that, I mean specifically the person you're either thinking of or maybe who you dealt with in the past or the person that you're dealing with now maybe has not exactly come up with the best reason either for you to either let them in or forgive them or, and there seems to be some covert stuff going on there. I feel. Um, so we're going to explore this further in the extended guys. I hate it when I do that. I'm having problems with this view. All my cards are like ending up not near the, not near the screen. So, um, let's talk about this again in the extended. We'll get more into it again. I'll cover some details that you, um, for you for the month. I'll tell you how the month wraps up. Good, bad, I'll channel a message for you too at the end, as I mentioned before. So just scroll down and click on the link and join me for the extended. Thank you.